Welcome to Rockcast. Dyson Production. Welcome to Rockcast. Welcome to Rockcast. I'm getting my like turn on my stupid fucking whatever place this is. I know that kind of creeps me out sometimes. Welcome to Old Town Radio. Welcome to it tonight <laughs> on the greatest hits of Satan. Today... On this second episode, really the first one when you think about it, because I haven't done anything, I've got with me my good buddy, Nathan. Uh, your dad. R. Your dad. Uh, we, uh, my dad, my daddy, <laughs> my daddy uh, he, he, he made whole things with mom and made me. Yeah. Uh, they tried to buy The gentleman that you are today. He is, you know what? Let's That's where my guys taste of yeah. pe- love for peanut butter. No, I didn't think about it. I can't hear you guys. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I met him at Cookie's Bar, as I've also met him at Cookie's Bar, who him is is Ryan Poshu, Poshusta, Poshusta. Close enough. There's a fucking S in there. It's Pushusta. weird. It makes it sound Russian as fuck. No, it's just fucking Poshusta, dude. Poshusta. Uh, it's a white like, production about my girl. Oh, he made it or something. Poshusta. Does mom know about this? Right. No, oh, she is in full support she, of this. She's going to now. <laughs> He's also my sponsor. Because of him, I quit drinking. He was such a shitty bartender <laughs> that I quit drinking. And you got me. He's a shitty sponsor, too, because we were just yeah. drinking. <laughs> nah, that's what makes him so good. I man. keep rough from drinking. I, yeah. I don't Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be working. I made to step on one of, of the 12. I admit that I had the problem. I didn't do anything about it. Yeah, I walked in the yeah. door and walked the fuck out. <laughs> I step one, turn into step backwards. No. Got kicked out for hitting on the girls in my AA class. I, I never I just know when the few times I took NA or AA or any of that crap when I was in like a group when they made me, I just turned it into a comedy show. You know, like I make fun of people. They'd be like, "Oh, dude, oh, I used to drink and then I'd like I'd, I'd smack my wife around and molest my children." I'm like, "Dude, I used to drink and then do cocaine off strippers' tits and then sing metal." Yeah. You got a problem, dude? What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? Oh, oh, you're talking about like fucking Bob Saget and how high? Yeah. Not <laughs> how high? I'm sorry, fucking. Bob Saget. Have you, ever, have you ever sucked dick for, for <laughs> marijuana? Dude, Bob Saget's a genius. Oh, I he's a fucking genius. Yeah, yeah, I've been to NA meetings though where you do have the people that are made. I thought you were going to say, I've been there. I've sucked dick for no, marijuana. I mean, <laughs> I've just sucked dick. Coke. Whatever, maybe, yeah. you know. Coke. I mean, anybody Well, that's did. what Bob Saget was talking about. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. But no, like, you see, like, the people come in, like, court mandated, like, oh, I have a fucking addiction to marijuana. And, like, even, like, the, the counselor's like, here, let me send you shit. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, dude, when in, in all of those, too, there would always, the drug counts would always be like some chicks would be like, well, when I was in high school, I smoked a marijuana cigarette after a football fuck game, you, and I had sex a with a man, yeah. and uh, I had a baby, and it ruined my whole life. I'm like, bitch, I, I literally smoked crack cocaine, tons of marijuana. I've never sucked anybody's dick or got pregnant anywhere. I do have five kids. Wait, you've never gotten pregnant? How the fuck has that happened? Protection. Man. So, I'm no, a responsible American abortions. citizen. He's, you had abortions. He's He's just, that's protecting you from a baby. Yeah. That's all an abortion is. Hashtag the uh, views and opinions of that dude. Do not represent my views. And all of us. All of us. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me one second. I have to do so. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this sexy white dog. Let me do this real quick. Do you have any favorite YouTube channels? Like, are YouTube that you watch? Like, Honestly, I, I really just watch a lot of shit on Facebook. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah I'm a little a Facebook lot watch of stuff. Yeah, I, I like that new the the newer the newer play button because they it, it's the video button. Oh, I heard someone kind of say like Facebook's where you go to get discovered, and then like YouTube's where you go after you've already been discovered. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but there's yeah. so many people. But that's that so in I between like, I'm trying to catch. I've been uh, I've been digging Trevor Wallace a lot lately. He's pretty funny. Trevor Wallace. He does like a lot of like uh, like popular like, like he'll do videos like based on like popular memes and stuff. Like when that whole Kyle thing was coming out, he did a whole video where uh, like one Kyle meeting another in the woods and just like taking turns punching like drywall and God's like fuck you, Dad. And, well, they turn off about monsters, monsters yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and then they go and they both pretend to get a job at a monster factory and shit. But, he has like that, a whole bunch of like videos about like fucking suburban dads and like just like, just goofy like pop culture type shit that's getting really, like everyone jokes about nowadays. Yeah, so, nice. Yeah, he's that he's what one of the ones I was saying. Once you uh, he started out on Facebook, he goes, yeah, now I'm more on YouTube because I actually have a following. 
It's easy to get a so, follow by Do you Facebook. not know the button that I'm talking about? It's probably on my phone. Yeah, because I don't, I don't see no, it on the screen there. No, it won't be on that screen like that. I no, never I know, put I know. Facebook up on a computer. It's so. really weird looking. <laughs> it's completely it's, different now. It looks yeah. like fucking MySpace. That's I what it looks like. Yeah, I'm I'm had a, had did you see this sick shit? Like five years. Nathan, did you see this fucking Holy sick shit? Holy shit, you right? just called me Nathan. Alright, then. What shit? Right. What you got for me, buddy? There. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ryan and I already talked about that. That's Got a space right here for you on the Diaries and Productions crew. It says art, design, and graphics. Sweet. You could be that that spot right there. That's all right at that spot. Yeah, I almost wrote it in today, but then you sent me those kindergarten books. See, I'm a harsh man. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, man. You're not even paying him. You can't and, be that and honestly, fucking harsh. The, the, yeah, I can. Um, because <laughs> if it works out, then those fools, like, there's always the ones that were there at the beginning. Right. Where you yeah. don't play different so versions of radio it. radio and shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to plug my bat, my, my dinosaur. The thing about the whole um, thing is the, uh, baby foot right there. <laughs> like, the hand foot. That just, it does something oh, to your brain. Hand? Yeah. It's just uh, like, that ain't right. walking away. Where is it waving? Uh, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm reaching and punching at the same time. I, don't I have know. a couple of hand drawn like designs too that I'll, uh, I'll get to you here. Um, I got color rum and shit. Yeah, man. Uh, any money I make doing this is going right back into fucking uh, this shit. You know, well, I don't need a few I need my mics first. Fucking, like, yeah, we don't, don't, we don't pay. Look at that. 211 it. fucking subscribers. Ha! Ah. Not one of them is named. Nope, not on YouTube. Sorry, man. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I just picked up these guys because they subscribed to me. Chicken Duck. Yeah. That sounds cool. The podcast <laughs> show. This one is great, dude. We got so fucking stoned on that. But I was uh, is that show. the podcast with Joe? Yeah, have you seen those? No, they're pretty good. Dude, they're pretty funny, man. You should come and be on one. I asked him. He's pretty I'm, cool there. I'm down. And this... Are you posting your? Uh, are you still posting your comedy sets up there? I'm putting music. Um, I'm not. Po I, I'm not posting too many of them. This is an AK metal show. I could put music of mine up in the background, but nine can also. So it also makes you rush my shit. So, this is for an A&R. This is one of the many versions of the machine course. But this is what we played for Bullet Tooth Records, CBS Records, and fucking. Uh, uh, Metal Blade Records. <laughs> so like, bull uh, Bullet Tooth Records, that's Bullet for my Valentine's. And CBS Records, that's CBS. We, each man had to pay 200 bucks to have them come up and judge us. And they were like, they're the ones who planned to see my head. They're like, you need to get the fuck out of the state. You're old. Oh, get the fuck out of Alaska? Yeah. That's my guitar player, and we do whiskey. <laughs> I remember you sent me this one after I hit my buck already with Steel Panther. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you back. I got hundreds of these from there. That's just one band. Bro, we can do this whole fucking podcast without Steel Panther. Just, just argue back and forth. Go for it. I think it's like little chopsticks in this place. I'm not lying. Yeah, Tommy Lee was our first drummer. That's killing. He was in Dire with me, the band. Like, like, Tommy Lee, that's yeah, Tommy Lee. Yeah. He's a Wasillian like me. That's Chris Barton, yeah, though. He's Lee from the future. Wasillian. You see that guitar he's playing? <laughs> he built that guitar. Oh, nice. you, all the music, like all the effects <laughs> you hear in the background, that's all Chris Barton. Dude, he, this is such a... But Tommy Lee was a great, great drummer that I think even he would admit that compared to I mean there's no other drummer I met that, that was as good as Chuck Nate what TV what Ryan something <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah Ryan something Nate something I think Ryan was on so how long ago Ryan Ryan's to make cookies uh, five, like four years almost five now really I think I just hit four years that's crazy dude so it's a long time there you still loving it yeah, I mean, depends on the day. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's pretty fun. I love the crowd. It's just, you know, when you get the, the slow shifts and it's kind of twiddling your thumbs all night, it gets a little tedious. But... Yeah. Yeah, you guys seem to, I don't know, I do all right down there. Uh, no, I'm on the weekend nights. Like, all of our, you know, most of our regulars that come in are chill and stuff, so. I've always hung out at karaoke bars, A, because I love singing, but B, karaoke bars scare off a, a lot of potential douchebags. Yeah. No, yeah, man, that's, that's amazing. That's yeah. that's what's great about cookies. 
So yeah. Tammy, I'm, I'm sorry to put her on blast, but uh, yeah, you're Tammy right. last night, um, the Melanie was talking about like open the book up, read the log book. It's hilarious, and you know when Ryan's written somebody something because it's always this crackhead popped off and did this fucking thing and this motherfucker and then that's it <laughs> then go, that could be that could be a, a podcast entry it's just reading from the log book then we yeah, talk about that, that once well I said I want to I want to go around town and get all the different log books yeah because you want to make you want to make turn it book. into a book yeah but um, try but, to get log books for people's fucking heart what was reason. my point was what was amazing like she grabbed that log book which is literally a fucking composition book and it started in May of 2015, and you guys are only halfway through it. Yeah. That's how chill Cookies is. It's very rare with Brawl. And, like, most of the time when we write stuff in there, it's just it's something funny that happened. Like, and you want everybody to like, I mean, we'd be more close if we ever make someone out of if we should make a note of it in there. Like, mm-hmm. half the time we don't, but I feel like there used to be weird guys that came in, and, like, I'm pretty sure they're, like, just weird. Nothing like that serial killers, but we always call them like, the skin collectors and shit. Because they always jump around, like, so they probably have like lampshades and like keep them on their couches and shit in their, in their house because those come and stand around and scare people off their way. But yeah, we finally, I finally, I like, said I just fixed it because we had to come in and do pictures of real people. And, like, one kept drawing like, pictures of them like looking to sing and like they're very like. BDSM right that's like looking and it was just like okay man you need a they like one chick didn't want to take the picture so we like ripped it up and like like threw it at her it was like uh, the opening scene to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre the guy didn't want to pay ten dollars for his picture he taken <laughs> you like horror movies don't you Ryan oh like, oh let's discuss that with you uh, I mean he wasn't even supposed to be there so we should cross him off of this. oh fuck <laughs> you too Rod Oh, I'm saying the camera show. Oh, uh, look at that sexy this, shit. This yeah, this was, this was me high on back in the day, dude. Oh, this is murderous justice. It's called procrastination, the art of it. Let's start with smile. Maybe uh, the next day. No, dude, this is, this is, not, this is, op- called yeah, this is opening for, uh, that's yeah, the spikes. Ah, those are live bullets on me that a guy gave me, an old war veteran. He was just like, fucking, these are off my gun. The rest of the clips I used to kill the kids. And I was like, Jesus Christ. He's like, put them on. We're like, all right, everybody put them on. I'm like, fuck. They're live, pins and everything. But uh, this is opening for Darkest Hour. That's into Montana. We he He's still in uh, Decepticide. He's the new version of him. That was a great fucking show. Yeah. The doctors are worried about my neck for the arthritis because of that shit. He's like, well, you, you yeah. seem like you're athletic, but you say you don't work out. I'm like, well, I mean, I used to do a lot of cocaine and sing heavy metal, man. That's a billion calories a night. <laughs> and then not eating for a week. I mean, look how much I'm sweating right now, dude. This is... And we did 40 minute set. Ryan, Ryan, oh, this is dope. Ryan, 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 Ryan. That guy back there, he's a puke guy for the drummer because Ryan always is a puke during the show. So he had his buddy just sitting there in the Corona bucket and he vomited into it about halfway through the set. <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, Roddy there fucking fell off the roof, roofing, and fucking landed right on his fucking fingering hand and snatted it. So I thought that we called it his fingering hand. It wasn't his dominant hand. It's no, this is dominant. That's how you do it. If we're lucky, it's this. Hey, everybody knows base pair is But here in Bremerton, so it's usually this and this. Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. This is all that we do around for the rolling. Yeah. yeah. But wait, there's more. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, this is a pretty one for me. Yeah, man, I, I've got a lot. Oh, carcass, yeah. I, I uh, It's what I do. I bet you guys don't know that, so it sucks for me. Your art. You do art. You draw a lot. Have you ever sold any of your art? Uh, I paid for I draw. Uh, I sold a few paintings. I'm a I know, I haven't told you I'm wrong, so. well, I actually some shit, you paid me like five cents for I'll do my first professional. Well, this point, well, this stuff, but there's also like, for all my videos that I do, I need, I need, uh, well, I'm planning to actually have a real video with you, but fuck it. Well, then I just basically, I just need somebody to do like graphic cards or you watch an episode or 
what I would like to do is if you can do like still drawings of like some of my like comedy sets, like my like the platypus I set to the duck, but like really awful like drawings, you know, but good. You can be dark, it can be whatever you want. But the ideas like that, so I've got I'm gonna ideas. Work on that fishbowl one when I go home, yeah. yeah, yeah, the fishbowl with the squirrel fucking like hanging on to the tree. This is my favorite song in the world, dude. I cannot live without the lies. Dude. The mother of two of my children standing right. Yeah. So Nathan, what's up with you? Met you recently. Nathan does no, this I... weird thing where uh, he comes in and he gets a beer. What do you drink? Usually a light. Or a, a light. Blood light and then lime and a, a lime and the salt. salt next to it. It's not a weird thing. I mean, I know about that. It's gotten brought a weirdly addicted to fucking salt. Yeah, I have it. Well, I've not got, only that, it's got me. Got, he's trained, so anytime I come in and get a fucking beer from Ryan or from whoever, whoever's working at the fucking bar, you just walk up it's worse and, than and you don't even fist bump me. You just hold your hand out and I automatically pour some salt it's, there. It's worse than I actually eat. I asked him a lot a couple of days ago not to put salt on my fries anymore. So all of a sudden he sat next to me, I forgot I wrote the fries, sat next to me with salt. You know, so I put it on myself. I just turned around and looked thinking you're gonna come to the door. And, and then I sat for like you're seven minutes and then I'm like Where, And then I take dad? Yeah, there's my dad. I taste my fries and uh, and you so oh, lonely without my dad. Yes. He yes. left to get a pack of cigarettes. He's never come back. We saw too much. Bring that up. He's not here. The happy fucking podcast. <laughs> no, I quit working those two fucking living boys jobs, and now I'm working at shitty just about one of my jobs. Sounds well, at least it's only the one. <laughs> but I got a little fun for this week. It's three days one week, four days the next. So I'm literally only working two weeks of fucking month. Okay. Well, I can check the audio and make sure that this whole time you haven't just been hearing that and not this because I realized how close I was. But that audio is coming through here. I thought it would be clever. Plus it's Bluetooth. You know what just sucks on hiking with Rob and I'm like, yeah man, it's a beautiful day out and then that cord gets caught <laughs> on a fucking little bush right there. I'm like, ah! This is a part where if you wanted to talk shit about Nathan while he's in the bathroom and he watches the podcast later. I don't have enough time to talk shit about Nathan by the time he gets That's a whole, that. that's going to be the next podcast with Ryan. He's, he's already, but stop stepping out of frame. Uh, I don't got my selfie stick. Yeah. Oh, fucking second rock ass appearance. Feeling pretty good about it. There's a douche. There he is. He's back. He'll go to the bathroom again here in about 30 seconds. In case you guys don't know, the studios for uh, Rockcast 2.0, Dire Sin Productions, is right here in this fucking awesome building uh, through this black door here, which just to piss off Dave, I'm going to put Dire Sin Productions, keep out on it, see how long that lasts. (laughs) But this room here has a lot of potential for comedy and shit, so we'll see what we'll do. Right on the other side of that, this is where I work. Also known as heaven. Bam. And here is the magic room. We're right. So what are you working nowadays? I work for a fucking glass recycling plant out in Seattle. How's that? No, oh, that's already... I don't I worked there two days and it's already got my sinuses all fucked up. I bet. Yeah, glass can't be good to be breathing in. No, and you still wear a mask, but there, it still gets through all that fucking silica and shit that comes... Yeah. Yeah, but... Fuck, sorry, dude. That's, hey, you gotta uh, fucking do what you gotta do. Yeah, it should be a little bigger. I was two now. minimum wage jobs, and I mean, deep driving. No, fuck that. I get to sleep on the ferry there and sleep on the ferry back. Yeah, no. And I, yeah, I gotta pay for the ferry and I gotta pay for buses and shit. But then I'm not putting the wear into my car. And I was, I was, I don't know, I might have released this one as a poll because it's quite a few options. But I had Rick and Morty, Family Guy, South Park, The Simpsons, Brickleberry, American Dead, Archer, and Death Clock. Bob, Bob's Burgers is up there, too. Oh, Bob's Burgers is another one to add in. Uh, I like that. Uh, God damn it, Shiva. <laughs> this is about scary movies earlier. Yeah, I hate 
horror films myself. I what? Oh, I, 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 I do too. Horror film. I don't need fucking any input it into it. Like you'd be right there. Oh, I'm very free. I know everybody says, but then again, I mean, um, like I said, I was just kind of fuck up there. Uh, first no, podcast, I'm, I'm bro. Step, I'm first, gonna step out. Go step out. Uh, as a base act, when you came in, you know. All right, now like, you've thought about it. What do you have to say about him behind his back? <laughs> he is yeah. terrible at climbing trees. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He, uh, well, he's good at climbing. He's bad at climbing. We'll say. We'll say. We'll say, we'll definitely talk to him about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've never watched that, Mister Pickles. No. That's another good uh, Adult Swim uh, cartoon. Like yeah, that. I was. I went to a uh, Overkill, and something else was stolen by Mister Pickles. Yeah, it's uh, the dog's like possessed by Satan or whatever, or with a satanic cult. It's pretty good though. You'd, you'd yeah. probably like that. <laughs> probably. Fucking next ray Charles here. We'll <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to play the keyboard. <laughs> Robbie's sitting here making beats with his eyes falling the shit out on him. <laughs> cookies Bar and Grill, why don't you promote that? Uh, Let's talk about cookies. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, it's, it's great. Uh, it's like the premiere, like karaoke place in town or at least that's what we we like to pretend we are we really are though well, yeah. everybody else runs it one or two nights a week you guys run it yeah six. we usually have like the bigger like you know the biggest followings for it um, but yeah like uh, Monday Monday's a really good like trial night like if you want to try a new song or whatever it's because uh, it's a Monday most places are so anyways but quick rotation they, you know, there's not a lot of people there to judge free pool free pool right free Monday's pool. free yeah. pool yeah um and mini corn dog special. So. The mini corn dogs are bomb. Although I think it's gross when people just eat the wieners out and leave the discarded little shells there. Yeah, you're missing like the point. Someone. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's. Oh my God, that's the overseer that does that. <laughs> Shout out to this overseer. Uh, Tuesday nights. Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> Tested his brain here. Mac and cheese like special. Wait, it's weird. Can we taste up all of our, our drink specials for like the winter drinks? And like they're not like I don't know. They're not selling. I don't. Well, they're they're okay. It's it's getting a little late for those now. Like they're mostly Christmassy, like oh, yeah. kind of. So I got we need to start working on our spring stuff and get on it. Like all our food specials pretty much stay the same. Um, Tuesday is a, is a good night, but Wednesday I would say is probably one of the better nights there because it's got the best food special, for 75 cent wings. Delicious wings. Let me do this part. You can order these wings with ranch, blue cheese, um, Oh, well, I was trying to say oh, He said, let last. me do this part. Yeah, well, I, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a, it's a sweet habanero sauce, and then it's a blackberry habanero sauce, which we mix with the blue cheese, and we call it the rock sauce. That sounds delicious. Amazing. It is amazing. It's cheap. People think it's gross, but like my chef in the stage. I don't like fucking blue cheese. No, yeah, it's gross. I'm not a blue cheese fan either. I fucking hate but it. But dude, it, when, you know, when it works with the blueberry. Yeah. But everyone's like, I don't like blue cheese. I don't want to try new things. It, 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 God, I want that here. But, uh, um... We also, I, I mean, uh, some people do it with the ranch, and that's still pretty good. Yeah. And then we got the, you know, barbecue buffalo, um, sweet chili, but... Sweet like, chili's good, though. I like more play. When you put it on fucking wings, dude, oh, dude they're yeah. nice and crispy. I think I'm going to have that tonight. Actually, that sounds delicious. Uh, and here's the thing about the cookies wings. If you don't like breaded wings, don't go to cookies. But, I love breaded wings. Yeah. There's a lot of people that don't like them. I've been kind of... Arguing with them to try and get like some not bread, so bread. Well, because like you know we have people in there that are keto or whatever. I want. I almost said vegan, which yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you're, they just like they just like, they just like the latter. Yeah. Uh, no, but yeah, they they're keto, so they don't like the bread or they can't have the bread. Like but, oh, people. Just eat what uh, wasn't on the planet ten thousand years. If it wasn't on the planet ten thousand years ago, don't eat. Um, you religious 10,000 years? What the fuck? Where do you get it's this It's a number? diet. It, it, it's basically <laughs> saying 10,000 years ago, what they were eating was probably the best diet there was for us. Yeah. Grains, meat, very little, very little dairy, if any at all. And, and uh, well, a lot of goat's And a lot of running out of food. A lot of goat's milk. That's where the dairy is. Uh, and then we also have the comedy on Wednesday, and that's, that's pretty... That's been getting a lot better. You did a really good set the other day, dude. 
<laughs> my whole 30 seconds? That is a great 30 hey, seconds. Hey, I, I, I think I, I lasted longer than I think I lasted longer than Cowboy did against McGregor. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> you're next. You're next. I'm going to toss that one in. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, mean, I, yeah, I think you did. <laughs> Barely. Yeah, but hey. Uh, I, don't I, get I, started I on that. Also, I don't know if you guys watched it. You guys see it all. I didn't. Or watch it at all. But if I you would like to see more about it. No, but I'm, just, I'm a newbie to the sport. But I'm really passionate about it. And so I want other newbies to get, you know, a lot of things you get into just because other people are kind of into it. Like, uh, uh, let's finish this a little bit first. Uh, yeah. So Wednesday, comedy, karaoke. Oh, by the way, every one of these comedy. nights. There's karaoke. Every night. Monday through Saturday, karaoke. Wednesday, it varies on the starting time. Sundays yeah. is closed. Yeah, I, it took me a while to get that. One day, one it's day, we'll pop it back into opening up for it. Um, then Thursday, Fine. Thursday is like my favorite night because we got three dollar bottled beer and four dollar oh. wells. So like, it's a really good night to come in and get like a good buzz for cheap. And then there's still karaoke and and you know I mean I'm usually out there on uh, on Thursdays too, like working or, or drinking. But and then Friday and Saturday or Friday and Saturday, like. It's wrong. Friday and Saturday, yeah. Like, we got a, we got a popcorn food special Friday. Uh, Saturday, we won't have any food special, but we still have Yeah, I don't get menu. that. Uh, and uh, according to them, we don't need to draw people in on Saturday. They'll be there, so. Like, no. But. No. But, no, it's a... <laughs> There's no such thing. Your whole system there is fucking with me. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it makes me feel comfortable because it brings me back to smoking crack. But yeah. if you didn't know what I was doing right now, you're like, dude, I did this podcast with Brock, man. That motherfucker smokes crack the whole time. No wonder he's so hyper. We all so, thought it was natural. So I was actually, yeah, just, talking, just, I was actually just talking to my girl about this the other, or last night. My dad does dabs, but he does it with a fucking meth pipe. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And he sits there and he rolls the dick and everything. So I walked in on him with a fucking glass of dick in his mouth and he's just sitting there. And I was, as a meth, an ex meth addict, I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> I was like, he's like, it's dabs. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I gotta go. Yeah, I see it's that shit rolling. I'm gonna start I remember, uh, I remember when my mom bought like fucking. Twenty dollars in crack pipes or meth pipes, like they're really fancy looking ones. But she thought they were weed pipes. She bought them please. She's like, "We've got like for like a dollar piece. She's gonna give out like stockings." She goes, "Hey, I got these pipes. I don't know how to smoke out of them." She hands to me. It's got the bubble here. It's got like a really little like glass decoration that connects to the stem on the side. So it's like the, it's like the Cadillac of a crack pipe. But I look at it, I'm like, all right, so step one, we need to go buy some crack. I know a guy. I'm like, a phone call. She's like, wait, what? I'm like, yeah, you, you just bought $20 with the crack pipes on the fish. Good job. Oh, there you go. It's fucking wish. That's yeah, what I was thinking. They suggest, man. It's weird. I, like, I love. It's always, it's always got to do with drugs or sex. Like, oh, the it, fucking dildos, the strap ons. Um, the bong dildo. Oh, the uh, bong butt plug. Yeah. So it's, uh, that popped up the other day. I'm like, but it, like uh, I had like the fucking like, the, the cocaine, the coke society? bullets. Where's the line? The coke bullets have popped up, and I'm like, God, that makes me like they're just they're just itching for people to get back into the well, shit. What that I hate about those is like I was never I never had a cool coke bullet. I carry. Oh, I love the bullets, piece of man. Fucking paper, you know, like no, don't have a toilet seat. No, yeah, that, yeah, there's no, there's but no, that was the great thing. Fancy. The bullet's great if you're at work. Had your ID with a cop with cocaine still all over it, dude. That was a good one one time. Like usually I lift it, but I forgot to. The bullets were gonna like that thing was amazing. Like you crush you. Chop it all up, and then you take your folded piece of paper and you dump your shit into your little vial, and then you screw the top on, and then you point that fucker down, tip it upside down, and then you rotate the vial. It's like a mini, it's and like it a mini you, pepper it just gives you a little fucking shot. I miss cocaine. I miss, <laughs> I miss, we the, all kind of I miss do. the way it smells. Yeah, some, some, some we, we, we used to, we used to t- me and his buddy used to have this thing. It's like, hey, bro. Uh, so there's this thing going around like the cocaine's been smelling funny. Can they smell yours? Uh, that and smells and like honestly, yeah, honestly, we we got a few lines out of that from some you stupid motherfuckers. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening. listening. This, this is Penny Dice Production. <laughs> 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 
Listen to that. 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 Listen to